Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime One back again with another Transformers video review. All right, I'm taking a break from, uh, well, Transformers technically for a little bit, and looking at um, Star Wars tra Transformers. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, um, these are the two of the Wave One basic Star Wars Transformers. Um, and by basic, I mean they're small. They're not the big $20, almost a Voyager, but taller than a deluxe size Transformers. Um, which they are still making, and some of them actually look pretty good. Like the uh, Star Destroyer Clone Trooper, um, the Yoda one, but I digress. Um, I picked these two up because they were the only two that I, that they had. They didn't have Anakin. I wanted to get him, but I, he wasn't there. Um, and I picked them up because I wanted, uh, small representations of these, like, pocket-sized, uh, Star Wars Transformers. Um, and they're really good. I like them. Um, I can see why a lot of people don't, but I still like them. Um, like, okay, with General Grievous, we'll start with him anyways. Scoot you off to the side. Um, the top looks really good. It really looks like, um, his vehicle mode. It's even got, like, brushed, uh, it looks, it looks like worn metal. Um, like he's, this ship has been in some serious battles and has the, like, debris hit it and... It just looks really awesome, like brushed metal. Oh, it looks so good. Sure, there's little screws back here, but um, that that's passable. Um, but if you look at it straight on, uh, you can kind of see General Grievous on the bottom. Yeah, robots in disguise, or I have a jet on my back. I think it's, um, I have a jet on my back. But anyways, um, transformation is really simple. Um, I always do the legs first. But you want to pretty much break it in half and then slide them down, spread, and then fold up the back pieces and peg them in. And uh, that's his legs. Done. And then the arms. You're really going to love this. The arms, you want to fold out like this, and then split. Let's get this one go like this. No, nope. bottom ones go out. So yeah, that's uh, General Grievous. Um, issues. His legs don't like to stand straight up for whatever reason, even if you have the arms pointing straight down. He likes to wobble. Don't know why. I would like to know why. See, he's wobbling all the way off to the side of the camera. Um, but yeah, look, he's standing on one foot. Look, look at that. He won't stand up straight. Let's see, will we do it on this side? No, no. Oh, there, finally. Okay, he's standing in the middle. All right, cool. Um, yeah, but that's a complaint. He has very odd stability. It's not poor, he's still standing, but he has very odd stability. Um, features. Ball jointed hip. Um, sw uh, swivel knee. Uh, no foot articulation. Um, swivel joint at the shoulder. Another swivel joint at the shoulder. Um, swivel at the arm, but that's for transformation. Swivel between the arms. Um, head can turn 360. He's got this weird thing in his chest. I guess it's for vehicle mode when he's like this. Um, they all have it, but it, it actually makes it sit up higher than it would just sitting the way. Like, his isn't, uh, extended. And it looks pretty good that way. But if you extend it, 
if I can get my fingernail in there. Then it just looks weird. It it forces him downwards. I don't know. I don't like them. I don't know why they're there. I know why they're there, but I don't know why they're there. They're not needed. Um, what else? What other features does he? Oh yeah, lightsabers. <laughs> You're gonna love this too. One, two, three, four. So, in order to get his four lightsaber gimmick into the toy, oh God, your stupid legs. Um, they sacrificed his hands in order to give him all four lightsabers. But I'm okay with that because if we finally get a General Grievous that has four arms. As you've seen in my other two General Grievous reviews, he only has two. This one, you finally have a Grievous with four arms. And you can spider walk him. Yeah. Anyways, um, so that's Grievous. Uh, out of these two, he's the weakest. Um, I don't have Anakin, or I actually saw Wave 2 out recently. Uh, Darth Vader, Sacy Tin, and the Clone Trooper Y-Wing. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick them up because I didn't have money. Um, but as soon as I get those, they'll they'll get a review too. But out of these two, he's the weakest. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi is modeled after the um, Clone Wars Episode Two Jedi Starfighter. It's a Jedi Starfighter from Episode Two, but unlike Episode Two, the droid is in the middle instead of on the wing. Apparently, there's a difference. Um, but it looks really good, and the way that it holds the lightsabers looks like he's constantly firing, um, like, missile blasts at wh whoever he's fighting. Um, so, let your imagination run wild with that. I tried to stick the lightsabers back here in the thrusters, but they're too small and they just fall out. So, oh well on that one. Um, but what I like to do because I'm OCD like that. Um, since this lightsaber is on this side, it has to be in this hand. I just go ahead and stick them in the hands before I uh, even start transforming. So. So now we can have a vertical takeoff. Anyways. Um, what you want to do is you want to take the cockpit and fold it down like that. My hand is in the way. I'm sorry. So fold it down like that. And then take these two side panels and fold them back. So that's that. And take the arms, fold them out. He's basically pull his arms out. Um, and then the legs are pretty much the only part that's really transforming. You split the split the legs, split the arms. Fold this piece up against the knee or the the uh, the thigh. My hand is in the way again. I am so sorry. Um, doing it sideways is hard. And then just fold out the foot. So again, you want to straighten out the knee, straighten out the joints. Um, fold this all the way up, and then fold the foot down. And now his feet are really awkward because of the what they fold out from. But it's like here's his foot and here's his heel so it doesn't he doesn't have flat feet so unless you get the feet just right which I'm gonna try and do right now he won't stand up right there we go so there's Obi-Wan Kenobi in robot mode um, he looks really good he looks really good I've always liked that Obi-Wan wears clone armor in the Clone Wars series, both the cartoon and the um, new CGI cartoon. Um, but I always liked the fact that he wore clone armor. I don't know why, it just... I don't know. It made him seem more cooler that way. Because Anakin didn't do it. None of the other Jedi did it. Only he did. Um... And I don't know, I think he looks kind of good in clone armor, but that's just me. Um, 
for articulation, he's got he's got way better articulation. No duh. Um, he's got ball jointed shoulders, swivel upper upper arm, um, uh, elbows, no wrists. Damn. Um, ball jointed hips. Uh, ball jointed knees. He can swivel on the lower leg for transformation. He has ankles. Um, and his head can turn. Um, originally, I didn't think it could because mine stuck so bad. But um, I watched Pia's review of this figure of Obi Wan, and I saw that the head did turn, which surprised me. That I was like, why wouldn't this head turn? And so I just went, Hurr! and then it turned, and now it's loose and it turns. So just had to use a little excessive force. Insert Star Wars joke there. Um, but yeah, I like I like these two figures. I plan on collecting the rest of the line. Um, Anakin, Vader, Stacey Tin, Clone Trooper, and then whatever else they come out with after that. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend looking into this line. Out of these two, get him first. Um, but I'm a big Grievous fan, so I had to get him too. Um, but I, they're good little pocket figures. They, they are. They're a lot of fun in a small package. Um, just like the Cyberverse line. Um, but yeah, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting these guys. They're a ton of fun. Um, especially if you don't have Star Wars figures yet, like Star Wars Transformer figures, either old or new. Um, and they're just, you can have them interact with your Cyberverse figures. They're about the same size. Um, I don't have any in robot mode right now, so I can't do a comparison. Um, but, uh, oh, here's a comparison. Uh, Marvel Select uh, Deadpool. So, and he's a three and three quarter inch figure. And they're kind of squatting at their knees, so they're about his size, just a little bit shorter, because um, Obi Wan's practically standing. Um, but yeah, so there's a good size comparison for you. Um, so yeah, really recommended, almost as recommended as he is. But unless you're a real Grievous fan, then you got to go must have. Um, so yeah, I'm Spider Prime 1, these are really fun, pick them up, but until then, um, I'm signing off.